Hello and welcome back to my channel. A couple weeks back, I went to a nice restaurant with my wife and they had some salt pots like these ones here. You see, it's out of wood and you can put some salt in here and there is a hole that you can use to put a spoon in it. And so it was a really fancy restaurant and it was really nice looking. You just take your spoon, take a little bit of salt, put it on your nice food. And so my wife said, oh, I bet you can do this. And I was like, yeah, I bet I can do this. And I'm always looking for projects and how to use some of my scrap wood because when I do the large tables, I have a lot of nice wood left over. I don't want to throw it away, but I also don't know what to do it. So this video will show you how you can take a piece of scrap wood that you might have laying around and using your Shaper Origin only with standard shapes that you have in your Shaper Origin, no SVG file, you can create those. And you see, you can take different woods. So here we have a little bit of laurel. This is black walnut. Here we have rosewood. So I took different scraps, scrap pieces I had and uh, made these. And it's actually pretty easy and fun to do those. And so I thought I'd share this in case you're looking for some ideas for Christmas presents to do something small, give it to your family. These little um, spoons here, you can buy them very cheap uh, on Amazon. I'll leave some links in the description in case you think they're nice. And let me get started showing you how to do that. So many tears that my tear dots turn red. Now that hema glowing, flowing, keeping vampires fed. They wanted to jam me in, lock me up and throw away the key. A pack of hyenas, he he laughing at me. They took many shortcuts by backstabbing me. If I don't get out they grip, then these vultures won't dip. I ain't afraid to die and fly off to the sky. But I got more life to live, so today I'm gonna try to strive. Not to hide behind my fears, hide behind the years, and hide behind these tears. Lord, Please take away all these imperfections Renovate my heart and purify my soul Do to me what I do to my floors when I sand them If you open up them doors for me, I won't be too demanding Your truth, love, and light is what I'll always stand And I'm your fierce, humble servant, just like you commanded I got favor, God's favor And nobody can take it from was full of sin god's truthful love for me i couldn't comprehend because i felt over processed like a bad lace front job i'm god's chosen but struggling that's kind of odd when you stand close to the light you bound to get burned there's some things on this journey i had to learn on my own but then god was in plain sight i was never alone against me on this right path many weapons was formed they tried to point and release bullets couldn't catch me god opened up so many doors i couldn't think to dream just imagine what i can do when you believe alone in my room i cried lord why you love me a multitude of blessings i shouldn't have received dry your tears my child don't you ever doubt me throw that sad way of thinking now because that's my pet peeve many things i have in store plant your feet and trust me i got favor god's favor and nobody can take it from Select. 
reflection is for all the times you covered me when I faced mad rejection. When things went left, there you were, making all corrections. That holy Bible in my life was my greatest investment. This for that little girl inside who always wanted to hide. Rivers and lakes and ponds of salty tears, she always cried. Never felt beautiful or worthy like a prize. You dried my tears and said, daughter, don't you dare believe those lies. I got All right, that was it. A couple of last thoughts here. Always try to take a larger piece of scrap wood and make multiple of those salt pots if you do it. Because there can be accidents and you might lose some. If you make this, the walls, the outer walls of this pot, if you make them thin, sometimes they break. Because the wood is not perfect, you might have some little cracks in it and it breaks. Uh, you have obviously accidents with your shaper that the router does something you don't want to, so it can break too. And then also when sanding, sometimes uh, the sander will just t tear away uh, your pot and just it will just fly across your workshop and sometimes it breaks. So I lost a couple of those while making them, and so if you want to do only one and then you like something happens, you'll just be annoyed. Um, so it's easy to do a couple of them and then see how, how many are left, how many survive uh, the entire process. So that's one thing to have in mind. And other thing to have in mind is that sometimes the scrap pieces are not as nice as this one here. This one here is like perfect, there's no cracks and everything. Sometimes you have cracks. And if you have that, you can stabilize that piece with epoxy resin before doing it. Now you might think, well, but afterwards if we use food on it and epoxy resin, that's kind of not cool. As long as you're not cutting something on the epoxy resin, as long as you're not applying force, it will stay stable and it's, it's not a problem if it touches food. The problem is if you cut something in epoxy resin and then you have little um, pieces in your food, you don't want to eat that, that's toxic. Uh, but for um, if you use it for salt, if you use it for oil or sugar, or pepper, these kind of things, then you don't have to actually cut anything on it. You can stabilize it with epoxy resin and then afterwards start the entire project. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that was it. That was my little uh, project. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you around very soon with a new Shaper Origin project.